Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So if you'd like to support us to create more contents frequently, do like and subscribe today. Alright, so in today's video, we'll be actually looking into how we can begin input data for your customers in AutoCom for the purpose of e-invoice. So if you are unsure of how to set up your e-invoice function in AutoCom, you can click on the description below to find the link to set up your database. Alright, another thing to note is that you will need AutoCom version 2.1 and revision 40 at least to have these features shown in this video. Okay, so the first thing you can do right is actually to do it manually. So all you just need to do is come to maintain debtors here, select a customer, alright, and then we press edit. And then from here, the tax entity or TIN information, you click the drop down list, and all you just need to do is press add new and you can key in all the particular details here okay so once you key in all the details of course these details you need to send to your customer via message or via email and then they need to come back to you and then you need to key in that information in here right so um, for us we actually do not recommend this because there's always a risk of human error example like they accidentally key in the wrong TIN number or wrong business registration number so when you get validation you get rejected all right okay so the thing that actually autocom release for e-invoice is actually this thing called autocom uh, e-invoice platform so you can actually press here get tin from aip server okay so if for example your customer is actually using auto count and already has updated their information all you just need to do is you need to just search by the name the system will automatically pull out from the aip with all the particular details inside here already okay so however let's say example i want to search for thompson and let's see whether i can find any so the system tell me there's no result found so what happened is now we have this function called a request company tax information click here key in your email address so let's say dex at myconsult.com.my so what happened is this email address is used once the customer has updated their information it will send you a notification saying that this customer has updated it already right so let's say the customer's name is correct the system will allow you to create a link Okay, so you can actually copy this requested link and then you can actually send it to your customers. Okay, so once they have filled up, a, uh, the AutoCount in the e invoice platform will actually notify you saying the customer has updated their information. And then from the search here, you will be able to search this function. The advantage of this AIP is it will provide uh, not only just you, but because you have already updated, uh, the customer has already updated their information. Any other AutoCount users will be able to search for the tax information via this AIP and they do not need to request this information from the customer again. Alright, so this is actually how easy it is to set up the e-invoice module for your customers inside AutoCount. We hope you actually find this guide helpful and if you have any other questions, do leave in the comment below. Thanks!